Hello from Sweden and welcome back to another pick a card reading. In today's reading we're gonna look at who are you? A personal reading of you. And to do this reading I have prepared three different piles with cards. That will be three separate readings. What you do is that you choose the one that you feel the most drawn to and that will be your reading today. As always we will also take one additional card together that you get to see faced upwards and hopefully that will help you to find your right reading today. So let's go for it. So who are you? A personal reading of you. Let's see here. Who are you? A personal reading of you. Okay, we're gonna take here pile one. Yeah, pile two and pile three. So let's see here. Pile one, masked owl. Pile two, albatross. And pile three, blue whale. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you'll find the timestamps shared in the commentary section that will take you directly to the pile and the reading that you have chosen today. And I'll see you in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your, to your reading. Who are you? A personal reading of you. And you felt drawn here to the masked owl. It also says, insight, wisdom, foresight, and messenger. But I just really got caught up by the word masked here. And I think pile number one, I think you're a bit multifaceted as a person. I think there is like, I think, hmm, there's many sides to you. And there are, I think there are people around in your life that actually might not completely know the full you, like who you are at a deeper level. So it could be that you are not showing who you really are or that you cannot show who you really are, maybe in certain circumstances, maybe in your job, you maybe you have some kind of a mask, not really like in a bad way, but you know, you have to be kind of professional maybe when you're at work or maybe with certain friends, you cannot share some kind of deeper things about yourself or it just feels like you are there's more to you than meets the eye and I don't think there could be I think there are people who really know the real you but I think there are people in your life that actually don't really know the real you that would be surprised about the depth and the multifaceted person that you actually are you are not a plain person in any way you're, I think you're a very interesting person, pile number one. I think there are many layers to your personality. I think you can surprise people, even people that really known you for a long time. I think you can surprise them with uh, who you actually are. There, like I said, there's more, many layers to who you are. And I think you're a wonderful person. I think you're a bit of a mystical person. I don't know if you hide parts of yourself or if you just have a very pers strong maybe personal integrity or that you don't like oversharing or that you're a bit secretive. Not in, none, none in a bad way, just like hmm, it feels like you're very selective on what kind of parts of your personality that you share with yourself and how 
uh, far you let people get to know you it's like you are the one deciding that's how it feels like so uh, let's just keep this over here and let's put your tarot cards to the side and let's dive deeper into some more oracle cards the owl definitely tells us that who are you yeah you are i think you're very intellectual i think you're a deep deep thinker pile number one and that's what i feel here i feel like there's not many people who actually knows the depth of your mind because there's so much going on within you like you have such a rich inner world and i don't think that many people actually knows you on those levels who you really are and i think really like i said i think some people would be really surprised over uh over what they could find if they really 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 got to know you or maybe if you opened that door and let people get to know you so it could be that some of you like i said are keeping maybe people a bit on a distance it doesn't have to be anything negative maybe you're just like really honor your privacy you you have like i said a strong personal integrity or also like i said maybe you have like a role you know a professional role <laughs> when you are uh with yeah you have to be professional so the certain parts maybe of your personality might not have room in certain areas uh, uh in your life so mm. let's look at the rest of your cards here and uh, you have relieve anxiety hmm relieve anxiety i think you've been going through a lot pile number one like i said there's so many things about you that that people might not know hmm mm -hmm. let's just continue i think here we have impassive impassive mandrake 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 is a pretty um uh, strange <laughs> i think it's a veg not a vegetable what is a mandrake it's like a, i just remember it from a movie you know they use it in some kind of a witchcraft i think um hmm impassive hmm let me google that just really really fast here and let's just see just to make it really clear here impassive uh oh not feeling impassive not feeling or showing emotion yeah it's like i said it's like you are feels like you have like a uh yeah like a strong personal integrity you know i think you really value your inner world and you're not gonna let anybody in there like they have to really ask for your permission or you just have to you have it's like in your it's in your control or it's in your power to decide who you let into your life or you don't let into your life hmm my mandrake here also tells me like mystical there is like a something very mystical about you something very very mystical about could even be that you don't want to share a certain part of your life because of uh yeah protecting maybe your integrity hmm. let's just google mandrake as well mandrake uh a mandrake yeah it's the root of a plant hmm mandrake yeah it's used sometimes in magic and hoodoo spells because it can look like a human <laughs> that's what i remember it for I, can't, I think it was pan's labyrinth the movie anyways yeah it looks a bit like a human yeah once again somebody impose it's like oh, it's like showing yourself but not really showing the true you so i think it's like and i don't mean this i don't think this is in a negative way it's just like maybe there's not a place in the world that you are in to show who you really are so say that you're highly highly spiritual and then you work in something like very non-spiritual you know very 3d non-spiritual and it's like you're walking around there you're having these normal conversations every day but there's so much more to you i mean you're sitting there you know it's like you have a lunch break you're sitting with your colleagues there everybody talking like this normal things which is fine which is okay but there is like and you're also talking but there's also like you have a whole 
spiritual world a whole thing going on on the side and you can't maybe you can't share it with this kind of people with these people that you work because they are so far away from being spiritual themselves could also be some like kind of other contexts going on here um hmm hmm and I think like with relief anxiety, I think you went through a lot. I mean, I think you were a pretty impressive person, pile number one, like very impressive person. And I think kind of in the right surroundings, like kind of with the right people, I think you really shine. When you are in your element, you shine, whatever that element is. I think it's going to be with some mystical, mysterious people as well. People that have some kind of a depth to them. I would say that you're highly sensitive, pile number one, and an empath, and I think that you are uh, very protective of your boundaries. You have very strong boundaries, and I think it could be that you went through some things in the past, like people cross your boundaries. I think, because with relief anxiety here, it feels like you had some kind of a journey where you were hurt, hurt in the past in some way. So you learned how to pick yourself up. So you picked yourself up, you became strong, and somehow also you became very protective of your boundaries, of, of letting people into that inner world of yours. So I think you're very, very strong as well. Uh, and I think you are have a lot of wisdom. I mean, you could have like really surprising conversations with people when you finally like let people in, when you finally talk about kind of your inner world. There's so much that you have to share. And I see so many past lifetimes of yours like really like you know the wise advisor the priest the priestess you know the counselor somebody you know that everybody somebody reliable that you went through to to get some kind of answer so you 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 have a strong connection to wisdom and like you are very wise and you have a strong connection kind of to truth and you have like an ability to see through layers of bullshit and just layers of thing and i think like I think mundane life and I think like normal 3D life, I think, yeah, you kind of like, it feels like you, you like, you have that part of your, like, you have that part of your life, that part in your life in some way. And you, maybe you enjoy it sometimes or it's kind of fine. But I think like at the deepest level, I think you're kind of bored with everyday normal life, like the living kind of in the, yeah, normal life is kind of not challenging enough for you because you have such a kind of depth inside of you. I think you are... Your soul uh, needs something more. Like you like to connect with people from a deeper level. And if you don't connect, if you see somebody and if you meet somebody, if you're not connecting from that deeper level, I think you're just going to let it be. You're not even going to try. I think you're over that kind of phase of trying to... Uh, yeah, trying, you know, trying, you know, you don't, you don't really care. I don't think, I don't think you care that much what people think about you. I think you, you went through many of those things, you know, caring and, you know, I think you went through a lot. I mean, I really think you went through a lot, pile number one. So it's like, you're, you're very like confident or kind of, you know, you are who you are. I think you accepted who you are and you're kind of fine with who you are and you are not kind of trying to change certain things about you just to uh suit someone else or to, to make friends or something like that i think you're over that kind of things uh, but i really think that you also at the same time you love connecting from a deeper level if you find somebody that you are like connecting with i think you're very like ready to share and to talk maybe that doesn't happen all too much or maybe you're holding yourself back a bit there's something going on here with that i would say hmm i think you've been burned and hurt before yeah we said that already but yeah i think you've been burned and hurt before and that makes you a bit maybe uh sometimes unnecessarily careful but definitely also very strong in a very also very in a very good way you have like integrity and boundaries that is also good but sometimes it feels like it's a bit too cautious you could be a bit too cautious maybe we have wow brown with established boundaries yeah i think you have very strong boundaries i think you're a pretty grounded person wouldn't surprise me if we have here in pile number one a lot of earth signs like capricorn uh what is it? Capricorn, Taurus, 
and what is the third one? I can't remember it now. Capricorn, Taurus, and uh, Virgo. Yeah, I think Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo somewhere, some placement in your natal chart. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me, but either way, you, it feels like you're very grounded. You are kind of, you know, I, I think, it's like I said, you went through some things, and I think you really overcome. You didn't just went through it, you overcame it, you, you became stronger, it kind of formed who you who you are today. Yeah? Like your past formed the person that you became today. And it's like, you, I, I don't feel like you are, you are not the person that is confused in any way. You know who you are, you know what you want, you know your good sides, you know your bad sides, and still feels like you're okay with everything. So I think you are very like developed actually as a human. Uh, it doesn't matter how old you are, you could be like younger, but still have like a, the wisdom of a person that has lived maybe 10 or 20 years more. So, or you could be, uh, yeah, you just, you are just uh, very kind of done. Something is very done with you. Something is very, something is very stable in you. It, and it could be things that other people are kind of, working with but you feel like you did that and you're done with that so there's something very grounded and stable here um hmm and with the green look at this brown there's some soil here and there's a beautiful plant growing here so i think you're growing a lot for the moment i think that you are opening up to change in your life i think you are going through you're going you are you're taking steps in a new direction. I think that you are ready for the next step of your kind of human journey, of your journey. Yeah, in this lifetime, you're ready for that next step. And I think you're being guided at this moment to a new path. It feels like a new door or a new path is kind of opening up for you. But it's kind of, or a change in your life somehow, kind of a big change. But it feels like even here, it goes like very steady and very grounded. I think that's the way you like it. You're not a person that likes chaos you don't like conflict you don't like risk taking you don't like you know uh and and still you're not boring in any way you're just very stable and very grounded and kind of very like uh connected somehow with yourself yeah with a master you are connected with yourself and you have a strong intuition you're very very sensitive you know highly sensitive but the good thing here is it's it feels like your sensitivity is very grounded in reality that means that you can use that sensitivity to guide yourself forward so you're not the, you're you don't feel like the impulsive person here you're not the one throwing yourself into a new adventure and i think I think that is just uh, fine. Yeah, that is just fine. Still, you're being guided now. You're going through some transformation. You're growing a lot now in this stage of your life. And it feels like you ended something. Like you come from a journey. And I think this had might have to do something kind of with your... Something you went through. Maybe it was your childhood or something. You went through something and it formed you. It changed you. It kind of maybe it even broke you down. It made you stronger. It, you know, went through all that, and you you healed. Maybe you did a lot of changes in your life, and then you kind of uh, you've been going kind of on a steady path or something, and now there's a new growth coming into your life here. Boundaries again. Wow. So you have a lot of boundaries here, and yeah, boundaries. So boundaries two times. <laughs> you are learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. Yeah, I think you're becoming very strong, pile number pile number one. And it, it is because of the things that you went through. I don't know what this thing was that you went through, but it feels like something or someone hurt, hurt you. Or you went through some major challenge in your life in some way, you know? Could have, could have been something else, but life really challenged you shook you up and challenged you in a very very difficult way and you overcame that or you're overcoming that and you're becoming damn strong i feel like very grounded and very strong here and also strong about who you are like you're not letting anybody mess with your feelings for yourself it feels like you are somebody that's not willing to give away the power over how you are feeling and how you're thinking you're not gonna let that happen again it feels like you are very like clear uh about certain things and i think you are getting very good at spotting people people's intention like who 
you're very good, I think, in judging people. Like, yeah, you see somebody or you meet people and you can immediately feel like, okay, this person I'm not going to connect with. Like, I don't, I'm not even going to try. Like, I don't even want to try. And then you're just going to leave it. You're, you're never going to settle for some kind of half friendship in any way. Actually, I, I really, I really think that you don't care. And I don't even think that you care of like kind of being nice. This sounds so strange, but like, you don't, hmm. You don't like being fake, pile number one. So yeah, you're not gonna have those fake nice conversations about the weather. And if you are forced into a situation that like, I think you're gonna quickly excuse yourself and kind of remove yourself from that situation. Because you are like really, like I said, that sometimes no bullshit person. Like you just don't like things that are fake. You're not comfortable and you're found. I think you found who you are. Maybe not on the deepest, deepest, deepest level, but I mean, that is the journey. But at some level, you really know who you are and what you like and what you don't like. And you're not making excuses anymore for who you are to anybody. And you, it doesn't feel like you have the need to get approval from somebody else anymore either. So it's like you're, you kind of, you are free. You are free here. But in this, it also feels like you are, there's something happening with you, I think. You're kind of growing and opening up for a new path. And I, I like it here because we have the little... You know, green plant is growing here at the end. And also, yeah, my nail polish today, you know, I always wear blue or turquoise because that's my favorite color. But it, yeah, now it was like, or like this orangey rusty color. Uh, it just fitted with the reading. I felt it when I choose the cards today. It's like, yeah, my nail polish fits my reading today. <laughs> so uh, with that said, I think it's like, <sighs> Something is going on in your life and maybe it hasn't really, really fully manifested into your life then, but I'm promising Panama One, something is kind of uh, brewing kind of in the background now. Some kind of growth is ha happening. This is like a new path is opening up for you. You're being guided to open up your energy, to open up for something new. So I feel really feel like you've really ended like a big phase of your life. And with that, it's done, it's finished, there is a new kind of adventure opening up. But like I said, it kind of feels like it's slowly opening up, you know? Slow and steady is the pace that you like, and slow and steady is going to be the pace that it goes, it feels. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We're going to see maybe the tarot cards is going to tell us kind of what's going on, or something else here. So let's look at those. And we have temperance. Yeah, of course. Of course you get temperance. <laughs> you are becoming very, very calm, I think. And I think you found kind of some inner peace inside of yourself. I think you worked a lot with finding balance. Uh, pile number one. Like, yeah, that's what I said. You, you worked so hard with finding balance in your life. You're not going to give away this kind of inner peace or peace that you found in your life for... Like, you're not just going to throw it away, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, you're not just going to throw it away. I think Temperance is the Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius. Could be some Sagittarius here as well. And also with the Owl here, I was thinking about the Air Element. You could be all the elements, actually. But Air Element, you know, Libra, uh, Aquarius, or... what? Well, I can't remember the signs today. Uh, Libra... Aquarius or Gemini. Yeah, Gemini. Hmm. You have four of pentacles. Hmm. Four of pentacles. You have eight of cups. You have ten of swords. And you have ten of cups. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see here if we could just <laughs> organize the cards a bit. So temperance. Hmm. Yeah, and the Four of Pentacles shows here. Yeah, actually, this is so perfect. So the Four of Pentacles shows here kind of, you know, Four of Pentacles, I, it's kind of a bit of fear, you know? So you have built your, I think you built yourself a life that feels good and it feels stable for you. And I think it's kind of like scary to let, you know, certain boundaries that you build for yourself or cer certain stability that you build for yourself kind of could, could be a bit scary to leave those, you know, look how this man is holding holding on to his coin, it's a bit scary. But the Eight of Cups here shows here also how you are leaving, you know? Everything is fine and dandy here, you know, with Eight Cups, but still, you know, you're leaving this to find something else. And, you know, look at this 
woman here looks like a girl even she has a packed a little bag you know the moon she's she's going away here in the night it should and that feels like that is telling me like there is something hmm something you know that might not be clear now why or where you are going but you are definitely going to a better you i would say to a better place and ten of swords here also shows you are you are this it's like you are there is something more that is is about to you that you are about to get that you are about to realize about yourself and about your path maybe or something like that ten of swords makes me feel here like the complete end is kind of near of a big chapter of your life and it's kind of all coming together now like i said it feels like you already you have already come so far but there's kind of a, like one last realization or hmm just like an ending like an ending and i don't know how it doesn't it doesn't feel like this is difficult in any way actually <laughs> i don't know why but it feels like it's very steady very slow pace here it's like the guides are being very very kind <laughs> kind with you now on this kind of last step uh hmm i think we're gonna do some more tarot cards actually let's just you know what let's just do three more cards here just to get some more clarity here eight of cups ten of swords because you're going here towards ten of cups you know ten of cups kind of is the ultimate happiness you know that is when you finally found home or finally found you you know or something like that and it feels like i said it feels like you are very there's something still not completely uh completely realized within you uh, hmm. it is you know what it is it's like you you come to you came to a place in your life where everything is fine but you're not ultimately you're not ultimately happy. You haven't reached your highest potential of happiness this life or inner peace or contentment. So it feels like it's gonna be that that will be happen, happening here, that this new path is leading you here with Eight of Cups to kind of release some kind of last part of your life here so that you can... Uh... Oh yeah, well, that was two cards. Okay, there's a lot of cards today. <laughs> uh yeah so you can completely end some kind of a big chapter of your life here and create the create the life that your soul wants so we have eight of cups again yeah definitely you're leaving you're leaving things hmm two eight of cups okay eight of cups temperance again oh my god I'm, what is this <laughs> i mean wow so yeah eight of cups temperance again you have justice here. Uh, we have, and we have four of swords. Pile number one, you're finding inner peace. I mean, who are you? You are a seeker of peace. <laughs> I would say that. I think you really want that, pile number one. I think you really, really want a peaceful life. I think you, like I said, I think you had a long journey. You re realized what you want in your life. You realized what you definitely don't want in your life. And... Uh, impassive yeah it says impassive but i was thinking about impasse you know kind of impasse not dead end impasse I, I don't know does that kind of mean the same thing or kind of kind of in a transition doesn't really mean the same thing here but kind of in a transition <laughs> it's like you are hmm you are stepping you are really stepping from something to something else. So who are you? You're also in a big change. You are in a massive change. But I don't think you have to worry in any way. This is going to be a smooth transition here going on. A smooth transition going on here where you are finally releasing like a deeper part of yourself. You know like the masked owl here, like I said that you have to hide a part of yourself. I feel like you are being, this sounds so strange, but I feel like you're being turned inside out. And you know the inside comes out. It's like you are coming out, you are really becoming you in the next phase. It's like it's becoming the full circle in the next phase here. Hmm. 
So, but I think you are a person that seeks peace. You are, you're seeking stability. You're seeking peace. You're seeking happiness. And Ten of Cups shows here, you're not looking for adventure maybe or risk taking or, you know, crazy life. It feels like you had crazy life. You had a crazy life and it feels like you're kind of done with the craziness. You want, uh, you're looking for kind of deeper things now, like stability, like security, like happiness that's not coming and going, but like kind of a, maybe like an everyday happiness or an everyday contentment, like peace in your life, in your relationships. And uh, with the Four of Pentacles here, you know, could be something with your work situation, how you are supporting yourself that you are looking for. It could, it could be that that is the last what am I going to say? The last stone in the shoe. <laughs> yeah, something with that that is the last stone in the shoe. There's one area of your life where you cannot show who you really are. It feels like one area of your life is holding you back to completely being you. And it feels like you know what that is. And... <clears throat> And it feels like it, it's the, it, the path is opening up, like I say here, for you to also kind of transitioning from closing that phase of your life as well and transitioning into a life where you can fully be yourself with everything that it means. <laughs> hmm. So Ten of Swords shows here also that it's ending. The Justice also shows here. Could it even be like like something karmic that has been going on here or just I think you're kind of you know you're you're a, you're a person that kind of are turn you're turning like stone by stone like in your life and in yourself you're kind of looking I think you're very aware of who you are and you are kind of reinvestigating yourself uh and with the justice here really looking at yourself and just like working through layer after layer, change after change, uh, working with one thing at a time maybe to move your f life forward into, like I said, what I think that you want is stability and security and contentment and inner peace and happiness and st harmonious loving relationships. And I think like you're slowly leaving things, one thing after another behind here. And it's like they're showing like stepping stones, how you're really moving. And I mean, look at this brown soil here. It looks so nutritious. It looks like it's, it's like, and look how green and wonderful this plant is. So you're really, 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 you're really, really growing a lot. And the plant is not that big. So, I mean, you still have a lot of growth to do, but that is also the journey uh that is also the journey so i think you're on a wonderful journey and becoming who you really are and that is who you really are <laughs> a seeker uh you know somebody who wants to become the best version of themselves and i think you want that you want to become the best version of yourself and you're i think you're a person that really does their best uh i think you're trying your best you're doing your best you have certain things i think that you might not like about yourself but i think you're still okay with it you know what you need to work with and i don't think you're a person you don't judge yourself that hard anymore i think you used to do that maybe in the past but you're you're becoming nicer and softer towards yourself there's a softness coming into your energy and uh, like i said it feels like you know who you are you know where you're going and i think you're gonna reach a very I think you have a very rich journey this lifetime and that this journey is really going to take you to get to know yourself and who you are in such a grand and uh, cool way. Like it's a very, it's a very exciting adventure that you are on pile number one. Mm. Hmm. I have no worries for you, actually. I feel like you, you can do whatever you set your mind to. And it feels like you are, like I said, slowly growing. It's such a steady, cool, it's like a, such a steady, wonderful pace that this is happening in. Mm -hmm. Okay, pile number one. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. 
If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, part one. Hello, pilot two, and welcome to your reading. Who are you? A personal reading of you. And here comes my cat as well. Hello, Nessie. And okay, you felt drawn here. I mean, wow, Albatross, beautiful, beautiful card. And this is also one of my favorite texts. I had it forever. And I, when this card showed up, I was just thinking, wow, I've never seen this card before. So that was cool. And I just feel like such a positive energy from this. So I think pile number two, I think you're a very positive person. I think you are, you know, I, I think albatrosses are pretty big birds actually. So I, I just feel like you are such a big person or, or <laughs> look at this tail here. <laughs> uh, I think you have a big aura. That was the thing that I wanted to say. Yeah, I think you have a big energy, a big aura. I think there's something very majestic and noble about you. There is something like, there's something very beautiful about who you are. Uh, the card here also says fate, endurance, journey, and hope. I think you're a hope bringer. I think you're a bringer of light, pile number two. I think you can bring a smile into the most difficult situations. And I think you're a very good friend. I think you're a loyal person. I think you're a kind person. I think, I'm thinking about, you know, Finding Nemo. Is that an albatross, the friend of, no, not Finding Nemo, what is it called? The Little Mermaid. That was the movie I was thinking about. The Little Mermaid has a bird friend. I, no, maybe not, it's not an albatross. Maybe it is an albatross, I don't remember. Anyways, he was very, he's very friendly. And uh, yeah, always helps her. Uh, a bit nervous as well, actually. So, but I don't think you are nervous. Hmm. I think you're strong and stable. I think you are, or you're very reliable as a person. And like I said, a good friend. Uh, let's put it over here. And let's put your tarot cards to the side and let's look at some more Oracle cards here. And you have examined your integrity. I have a number 11 there as well. Examine your integrity. Yeah, you have a strong integrity. You feel like you're a strong person, pile number two. A uh, very strong person. Like I said, you have a big aura, big energy. And I think at times, like, you know, if you're sitting and people, people are really respecting your view on things. I, I, even if you don't put yourself kind of in a leader position, it feels like people turn to you. So if you're in a group of people talk, if a group of people are talking and everybody's talking, like a, they, they're having a discussion about kind of maybe uh, a decision, like everybody is talking and then everybody looks at you and says like, yeah, part two, what do you think? So it feels like your opinions are very valued. Like what you say feels like it's important. People know that you have good advice to give, that you can bring kind of light into uh, any situation, any question. It feels like you have kind of a different perspective and view on things. You are, like when you come into the room, it feels like your presence is very, you, people can feel your presence, people can feel, you have a powerful energy pile number two. Yeah, powerful energy. And it's like you are a person that cannot hide. Like you, if you go and sit somewhere, like if you go out and eat lunch by yourself or you're sitting somewhere, people are gonna notice you, you know? It doesn't matter what you do. It's like your energy is being, like you're, they can sense your energy just being like, whoo, whoo, okay? Like you take a lot of space with your energy just because you are, yeah, you just have like a lot of power within you. Hmm. And yeah, a lot of integrity here. It feels like you are, uh, strong in yourself and look at this it's like actually angel wings here uh, so it feels like you're very kind you're, you're very kind and compassionate as a person naturally I don't think you're, you're I don't think you judge people that easy I think you are very actually in some way like very uncomplicated like you don't, it's like what you see, what, what, what the person sees with you, it feels like it's, that is kind of what they get. Like, is there's no kind of like, 
big surprises going on or you know strange things it's like if you say something that is what you mean you don't kind of you can could even be that you're kind could be like very direct but but still you're kind I think you choose your words because you don't want to hurt anybody so you're considerate you're kind you're all those things uh let's see here the spirited St. Jones worth with the spirited I think you're good in picking people up I think you are good in yeah shining light on people like if somebody's sad you're gonna kind of be the first person they call because they know you're always gonna be able to lift them up make them feel good about themselves um yeah make them feel good about themselves people are happy that you are in their life there are some people that are very happy that they have you uh and that you are so reliable i mean that it's good for them to know that you are reliable that you are always there so it feels like you're very like uh honored and very there's a lot of gratitude from people around you uh mm, hmm and you have cherry live an extraordinary life hmm the last card here is self sabotage you may be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way. Hmm. Interesting. Self-sabotage. I think you have people around you, pile number two, that... Uh, hmm. That is taking, maybe not taking a lot of your energy, but that has... Hmm, maybe relying on you, maybe. Hmm. self sabotage You know what? Let's look at the tarot cards as well. Let's just dive, go deeper here. So tarot cards, you have six of cups. Six of cups is all about the past. I was thinking, you know, self-sabotage. Could that be a past behavior that you came from? Uh, you have strength. Yeah, look at that strength here. This pile starts to feel a bit similar to pile number one. <laughs> we have the Empress. I mean, wow. So pile number two, you're definitely growing. Growing, 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 growing. Wow, you are growing so much. You didn't become... You became this person, you know? This albatross, this big majestic bird you know with his big aura with all this power and kindness and compassion uh uh you became that because of because of this the self-sabotage maybe the you know examine your integrity there is some there's a person here you know this makes me think of you know with the angel and then this this some person here holding it like a is it called a marionette? I don't know if that's the name in English. So but yeah, and the angel here makes me think like an empath versus like kind of a narcissist or kind of you know the dynamic, uh, codependent maybe, or yeah, codependence maybe or something or you know giving away your power to somebody. There's some kind of a power struggle going on here where somebody is the kinder. <laughs> I, say, I wanted to say weaker, but then I thought, why is kinder being weaker? But you know, if we are very sensitive, vulnerable, and we have not found our power, uh, it's, it is easy for us to be like, if somebody, you know, the, you know the uh, dynamics between a narcissist and an empath, where the narcissist is using the empath sensitivity to manipulate them and make them confused and that's how they lash on and then like kind of take their suck suck energy from that person anyways but it feels like with the self-sabotage feels like you're you've been stuck in something but with all the strength here you took yourself out of that and this is what made you strong like i feel like yeah very similar to pile number one actually this reading like you took yourself from something six of cups here shows here that it was something in the past six of cups is also kind of a soulmate so it could be a karmic doesn't have to be narcissist uh, empath of course it could have been like a very difficult soul karmic soulmate that you had it could have been your parents siblings or something like that a childhood 
karma, karma, childhood karma, you know, karmic soulmate bonds with your parents, um, self-sabotage, you may be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way. So yeah, maybe you really had to overcome some really, 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 really poo, difficult challenges in this lifetime. And you did it, I think, with strength here, or you're doing this now with strength. Maybe you are doing this, you're on this path, you're doing it with strength here. And the Empress here shows how you are growing. You're growing, you're growing, you're growing, but also your energy has become very powerful. You have become somebody very reliable, you know, it feels like you have been in, you have been soul searching, you know, you've been searching, you have been like, uh, really looked into yourself. You've been, because you, you, because of the things that you, the challenges, like I said here, that you had to deal with that forced you to, uh, either keep on self-sabotaging your life. Maybe, maybe you did that. Maybe you're doing uh, I don't know, could have been behaviors, could have been destructive relationships, could have been like just not loving yourself, not prioritizing yourself, could have been some addiction, could have been whatever, you know, it feels like pile number two, you definitely went through some kind of darkness, dark night of the soul, something like that. And somewhere I think you picked yourself up and damn, you did a hell of a job, <laughs> pile number two, to be able, you know, with the strength and the Empress energy here and the Albatross here, really, really, you became so strong that I think you're actually helping other people with the same thing, or you're meant to help other with the same thing. But either way, you are somebody reliable, somebody, people can call and ask you, uh, you're a wounded healer, pile number two, yeah, you are, and that made me feel a bit touched here, and I don't want, no, don't really know, I think I, I felt some of your energies here when I said that wounded healer. I think some of you really need to hear that, that going through difficulties is not a weakness or something wrong. It is actually what may makes it's a part of your path. And that is what's going to make you into who you are meant to be this lifetime. And, uh, yeah, wounded healer, you know, uh, is a healer that is very powerful actually because the wounded healer is somebody that's going through the same that has to go through like really really dark things heavy things and challenges transform their life and with that they become very powerful healers because they can understand the depth of suffering and pain and challenges in, in other people and they can hold that strong, uh, that strong presence. And, you know, I think you're, you're a great listener and they can hold that strong presence and they can show the compassion towards their friends and towards people because they know how it feels like, because they went through the whole, the, the thing. So I think pile number two, I think you are a pretty impressive person. And I think there is some really, 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 really depth within your energy here but still the, the most the most beautiful thing about you you know it's whatever lemons life throw at you you st still kept that kind of angelic energy of yours or this purity of yours this kindness of yours this compassion of yours i think you were born as a highly sensitive very compassionate and open person i think you always been very kind you always I keep saying kind. Yeah, I think you're very, very kind. I think you're meant to live an extraordinary life here with the cherry here. An extraordinary life. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think you're meant for an extraordinary life. And the cherry makes me think that you're not meant to spend this life alone. You know, the cherries, they come with two, <laughs> two cherries. <laughs> so there's another cherry that you have some kind of a path with here. There is definitely, I think, pile number two, I think you're a person that has gone through a lot of suffering and disappointments when it comes to love and relationship. Like love, love seems to be one of your biggest karma, pile number two. So yeah, definitely uh, disappointments when it comes to love and sadness and definitely like karmic soulmates. I think, yeah, karmic soulmates could even be that somebody like narcissist or that you had like a codependency maybe, uh, 
mm, somebody that kept dragging you down. Uh, but yeah, strength here and the Empress shows here how you feels like you took yourself out of the situation. Maybe you're doing that now, but it really feels like you are not that person anymore. Hmm. Let's look, keep on here. We have three of wands, you know, three of wands moving forward. Three of wands also shows that expansion of energy that you have, like your big aura, you know, you are, you are, I like you. I really like your energy. I like people that are kind of powerful in this way because you're not powerful in a way that you have like a lot of personality kind of from an ego like here I am like you your power is more silent you know it's not it doesn't brag it doesn't I'm thinking of this actually poem now I think it's from the bible love is kind love is what is that you know that they usually use it kind of in weddings and thing love is kind love doesn't boost love doesn't oh I don't know I don't remember it if anybody knows it they want to share it in the commentary section please do so it's a wonderful Poem, but it feels like I don't know why that feels connected to you in some way uh, I think pile number two you're meant to find true love this lifetime and I think the biggest true love that you're gonna find is gonna be and I'm gonna cry a bit a little bit now I think but the biggest love that you're gonna find is the love to yourself I think that is such a big part of your journey here yeah but like I said your energy is very powerful not in that boostful boast boostful way but like just you're carrying yourself with you know like a person that went through shit to pick themselves up and became just something very compassionate and beautiful there's just healing going through your whole energy and I really really think people really respect you and uh, yeah they respect you a lot I think four of swords I still like I think you still maybe you like to be alone here with four of swords hmm yeah, maybe you like to be alone. There's something going on here. I should keep looking at the cherry here. I think there's something still going on when it comes to your love situation. Like, what is going on? Uh, it could be that you're still healing your openness towards love or towards like, or maybe you're, you're going, could even be that you're going through a karmic soul bond, number three or four or two at the moment. Sorry for laughing, like I, I did that journey myself. So I'm, I'm kind of laughing at myself <laughs> because it took some time before you realize like, okay, maybe I should stop with the karmic soul bonds and like heal myself. And the dispirited here could also be like showing how you at times are like very dispirited when it comes to, I don't know, love. Is there a longing for love maybe? Hmm. But still it feels like you're kind of flying over love and finding love, finding the love to yourself. Uh, but still there's going to be love, but it's kind of like it's going to come after you find love for yourself. That's how it feels like here. Hmm. You're a very impressive person, you know, with the strength, with the empress. Hmm. The three of wands, four of swords. We're going to do some more cards just to go deeper. Yeah, let's go deeper. Hmm. I'm looking at, oh yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> looking at uh, the tarot decks to see which one we should choose. Let's go a bit deeper here to see. Whoopsie doops. Wow. Okay, we have page of cups and then there was a bunch of cards that just fell on the floor. So, <laughs> page of cups. You're very creative here with the page of cups. Look, the page of cups is painting here. You are a person that you kind of, you know, you feel like you are, you're finding yourself back to that innocent inner child, to that creative, joyful person that you are. You've always been that, you know, you are very, you know, many of you really have this kind of angelic, playful energy. So you're, it feels like you are finding that back. Maybe you never lost it. There's something going on here, like I said, with your love situation that is a bit of, I don't know, there's, there's still some lingering, maybe sadness or disappointment left. But yeah, pile number two, you're a highly creative person. You're a funny person. You are, I like you. Like if, if we would meet, we, uh, we would probably really connect with each other. I feel like you are a person I would connect with. Um, you're easygoing. You're not complicated in any way. 
you you have integrity you are kind of independent uh, hmm. you're not clingy in any way like that um, let's see here oh that's two no that's too many oh let's do that one <laughs> okay so what do we have here we have nine of cups wow look at that yeah satisfied hmm you have worked a lot with your emotions i mean you have really done some work with yourself you you have really grown 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 a lot yeah you've been growing a lot and there is something very calm with your energy you know uh mm, something very calm with your energy some of you could be mothers here with the empress and the nine of cups you know and have a very special connection kind of to your child or you're gonna have that some of you are gonna get a child and you're gonna have a very special connection with it could even be a grandchild or something like that yeah with a page of cups the empress nine of cups could definitely be that there is maybe you're a godmother or godfather even so it's gonna be a special child that you have a connection with but also this also signifies kind of once again the connection that you have with yourself i think you have a pretty good you're a pretty fun person, pile number two. Like, uh, easygoing. Like, you are definitely kind of a, you know, as a soul, I think you are a very evolved soul, like a high vibrational soul. You know what compassion is. You understand kindness. You understand, like, being a good person. You understand it's better to forgive than to hold a grudge or... Yeah, so it feels like you are like very, you're a very good person. <laughs> like once again, I really like you. So two of cups, here we have him or her. <laughs> yeah, two of cups, the cherries here. So yeah, you're definitely, there's definitely somebody for you here. And once again, I still feel like a bit of maybe sadness or something there. Some of you have like a, some, a person. There's going to be a person that is meant for you for the rest of your life. Pile number two. And the lovers. I mean, wow. I mean, wow. Two of cups and the lovers. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, strong, strong, strong love. Love. Everything is about love. I mean, who are you? You are a creation of love. Everything is love for you. And it feels like in this lifetime, you learned what love was not. You had to learn that. Maybe you went through some really hard lessons in your childhood or like I said, karma. And even after that, you know, really disappointments in love. And with that, maybe self-sabotaging behaviors uh, because of, yeah, because of sometimes it's just like that, you know, we, we sabotage for ourselves because maybe we don't think we deserve better or something like that. Hmm, you may be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way. So, but I think you have overcome this. I think the self-sabotaging energy here is kind of in the past here. So, but love is the theme for your whole life. Loving yourself. What is love? What is unconditional love? What is self-worth? How do I love myself? And I think this is kind of your big journey here. And I really, really think it's a wonderful journey that you are on pile number two. Like really the wounded healer who went through so much pain themselves and picked themselves up and then grow to become the most beautiful, you know, like the butterfly. How the caterpillar goes through such a pain, you know, it's a little caterpillar, you know, it's pretty vulnerable as a caterpillar, you know, you can't fly away or something like that. <laughs> and then it goes into that cocoon it looks like a whole painful metamorphosis it has to be painful you know there is there is like growth there's wings growing out of the caterpillar and then it becomes a beautiful caterpillar also thinking about the ugly duckling who became the swan or the phoenix who went into the fire and became ashes and then got reborn you are a person that is meant to be reborn this life to love to understand what love really is uh, and not understand it kind of it feels like you are meant to embody a love like self-love like really really like yourself Re really love yourself and with this also it feels like there's like I said there's going to be a special person for you here two of cups and the lovers definitely like twin fire or soulmate here for you but that feels like that is coming after the self-love has been realized and it could even be that this person is in your life, but the kind of the full union or the full happening won't happen until you 
come into that self-realization and before i think before you and the self-sabotage could be looking for love outside yourself looking for something or somebody else to fulfill that emptiness that longing for love that you have inside of yourself and you know if we grow up without love uh, there could be a very painful longing for love we want love i mean that's normal it is in our nature to want to be loved but what is happening here is kind of when we haven't found self-love actually this is kind of something that gets damaged you know when our parents doesn't love us and we don't feel love there's something that is kind of like a some there's going to be a very deep core wound in the heart chakra that then after that's going to long for love and trying to get somebody else to fill that emptiness and that hole inside of herself but you know it doesn't work like that and what we are doing when we do that like we only create kind of codependent relationships or destructive relationships or kind of even if we find somebody it's not going to work because a relationship can fully be i i think a relationship can't fully be uh happy and content before you fully love before we fully love ourselves because nobody else can fill that hole inside of ourselves we have to fill it with ourselves <laughs> you can't fill it with somebody else we have to fill it with ourselves so anyways i think you completely know what i'm talking about i don't think you need me to lecture you in any way i think you know this i think you are a person that understands love from the deepest level and maybe that is also the pain here because you were there was love lacking and you know lacking in self-love is so painful so i really think you're going through the really like this contrast you're facing a loveless life and then going through a, 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 some kind of a transformation inside of yourself maybe through a very painful way here breaking through some karmic soulmates or really being burned here by love and disappointed by love before you kind of do that and in this process it feels like you are really somehow you lost yourself i once was lost and then i was found <laughs> uh, anyways so because you are such a delicate beautiful creature here you know with the page of cups it feels like you are such a joy in the world and you always been a joy in the world and you deserve all the love and i'm sorry if you weren't loved by your parents and if you you weren't given the love that you deserve because you deserve everybody deserved to be loved i mean everybody deserved to be loved without any conditions here so and you're such a lovable person i mean i love you <laughs> you're such a lovable person but you are finding that out and i think you know that already that you are and yeah you're very very creative there's definitely going to be some kind of creative expression coming out of you and you sharing maybe even something into the world you're meant for happiness and contentment you're meant for many many good things this lifetime mm -hmm. three of wands really shows here also you know the change that you're doing in your life you know all your bags are packed you're ready to go so yeah you, there's you, there's a lot of changes going in your life and the three here makes me think once again three karmic soulmates maybe <laughs> i just thought about three karmic bombs hmm four of swords here shows here in the end like finding inner peace finding inner peace becoming a person that is very very loving themselves very peaceful i think for some of you if you want to be a healer or kind of work kind of with something like that or advisor or counselor maybe a teacher you know it doesn't have to be spiritual teacher but like in school or something like that you're gonna be whatever you're doing whatever you're gonna do you're just gonna give people good energy you're a person that spreads good energy you're not going to be a person that is you're definitely not a person that likes to spread negativity you're a happy person you like to be happy you don't like negativity you don't like conflict you don't like drama yeah i think really you like you like being happy and that's good that's the good thing that's also why you can bring light to a situation when somebody calls you and they're like all caught up in their dramas and things like that you're going to be the one who says something positive instead of getting drawn into you know oh let me go my, get my popcorn are we talking what drama are we talking about today <laughs> let's let me get my popcorn let me do let's dive into it together and let's feel let's let us all feel really bad i think you're kind of going to be the one who wants to get the energy up 
to, to get it to the positive side and to like kind of I think you want to enjoy life. You are like really, really, like I said, you're a sensitive soul. Whatever art or whatever creativity you are doing, you're definitely gonna be very inclined to do something creative. I think if you're not, if you're, if you lose your muse or if you lose your, uh, like kind of wanting to create, if you're not doing something, like if your soul doesn't get the, the space to express itself you're gonna be depressed you're gonna be not happy you have to have some kind of freedom in your life nine of cups here yeah you're a freedom lover pile number two you're definitely gonna have freedom that's kind of funny because it could have been that you've been in codependent relationships but that like i said could have been some wound that you want wanted love or you wanted to fill some hole up and like I said that's the kind of the self-sabotaging thing but it's kind of funny because it's not who you really are you are kind of a free person you don't like having boundaries or having demands on you you like to be free you like to be free like the bird you want to fly wherever you want to and uh, freedom is very important for you and self-expression you need to express yourself in some way to be happy you need to have a fulfilling life in some way. You cannot, you can't, I don't think you could stand with an ordinary mundane life. You know, look at this. Live an extra, extraordinary life. You need the cherry on the top to be happy. And what that cherry on the top doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that it has, it has to be a crazy adventure, but some kind of adventure you need in your life. Some kind of a passion. You need to feel alive in some way. And I think it's going to be in your soul way. Your soul needs space in your life for you to be happy. Otherwise, it feels like you could get, you could be prone to depression or fatigue or maybe self-sabotaging, maybe even addictions. Very common, you know, with empaths and sensitive souls, you know, um, just thinking like ADHD or uh, autism or if you're some kind of spectra like that. Uh, it could have been like, you know, the, the sensitivity can be very overwhelming at times especially if we don't kind of if we, we, we also have a, hmm like a lot of problems kind of with ourselves if we're not happy yeah if we're not happy that's gonna be even more difficult and then it's easy to be prone to kind of some kind of addiction or kind of to kind of try to, to release those emotions you're very very good in like the creative field I'm really getting this here you're very good in the creative field you're you're at home <laughs> you know you are gonna feel the best in a peaceful happy life where nobody's putting any demands on you and where you can just create and do your thing you have a thing that you do you're damn good about it i think pile number two you're very good in what you're doing this love of your life feel that i feel i think it's gonna be somebody that is very perfect for you very strong soul bond and very perfect for you i don't want to talk too much about the love here because i feel for some of you it's like maybe still that longing and wanting and i feel like that is not important the important part is loving yourself first and the love will follow i mean it will come and if it's a twin flame or something like that you know the more you the more we go after the twin the more we push them away actually when we let them go if you want to know if it's a real twin flame, it's very easy, actually. <laughs> I thought about this today when I was meditating. You know, if you want to know if it's a real twin flame, let them go. I mean it, like, really let them go. And I don't mean let them go and then have a drama in your head, like, oh, I let them go, let's see if they're going to contact me. I mean, really let them go and be happy by yourself. I know that's very difficult when it's a twin flame because they're so the, the bond is so strong. But this is the journey, you know? Letting them go, loving ourselves. If it's a real twin flame, the, the, the pull... It, it, it's impossible it's like two magnets the person is gonna come I, I've seen this many times kind of with my twin flame actually every time this happens it's very funny actually uh, it's very simple in the end you know as soon as I let go it's like some kind of a pull just brings him to me he can't keep himself away from me because the love becomes so pure in some way because there's no pulling anymore no pushing anymore so there's space for the love to grow just saying that if somebody is wondering <laughs> if it's a real twin flame or not anyways um yeah the love yeah something big is going on with your love here i mean that's your karma i think <laughs> love is your karma everything is about love self-love healing self-worth and your creative expression it feels like you would do empress here whoo 
you're such a growing person you're meant to grow and i think pile number two you were perfect the day you were born you always kind of been perfect you know you have been adorable since you were a little baby actually there's been something kind of very uh cute about you or very you know some babies you know you see them and you're just like damn there's something very special with the soul you know they have some kind of a depth i think for you it's kind of the joy and the purity that you had you know it's like when you were a kid and you were laughing it's just like wow it was just so pure so i think yeah you're just a pretty pure soul mm -hmm. i just heard like tortured soul <laughs> but with that said it, you know i was thinking like you know all the great artists and uh sensitive souls in the world also many times are also very tortured because their sensitivity becomes kind of a burden because it can be very overwhelming to feel so deeply but i think you're handling this pretty good part too i really think you're getting to know your sensitivity how to handle it you're healing you're doing your thing and you're moving forward here and it feels like i think pile number two you're gonna find the life that you want i really really think so i think for many of you you come far on this path and I really think you're going to get the life that you deserve and that you feel that you want. So yeah, freedom, love, maybe a, like I said, a partner, maybe I said, yeah, I really think it's going to be one partner to share this with, the journey with. And yeah, happy life for yourself. Very happy, yeah, happy, good life for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, part two that was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time hello pal three and welcome to your reading who are you a personal reading of you and you felt drawn here to the blue whale it also says unity resonance magnificence and mastery hmm blue whale okay <laughs> just you who are you you are somebody on your way somewhere that's what i heard yeah because it, it kind of feels like you know the whale is <laughs> throwing i think it's throwing itself like this but it just made me feel like yeah you're on your way somewhere you are somebody who are you you are on your way somewhere hmm. and the two here makes me think of a path here you're on your way on a path hmm I'm getting very very kind of like a positive energy here you're you're on your way to success so this kind of became a kind of different reading here already because yeah who are you hmm you're somebody that is about to reach some kind of a success and you're about to celebrate so maybe that was important for you to know and that you're gonna reach success in whatever you're doing here big success you know with a big blue whale yeah big success wow and yeah with the flip here you know it looks like it's flipping and at number two showing two paths showing kind of a crossroad or not a crossroad showing like two paths like one fit one thing and another thing so it's like you're going like flipping over to the other side here so you're about to reach some kind of a success and i see you celebrating celebrating big time even <laughs> okay let's see if that's gonna fit into the reading here we're gonna continue if that's gonna be the reading here maybe it's a yes wow i mean wow look at this and she's also wearing blue here you know there's a lot of blue here blue whale blue it's a yes so yeah so so i think that you are a person pile number three that had a big mission there has been something that you really, 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 really wanted. Look at this big blue whale, you know, unity, resonance. Something was really resonating with you. You're like, I want this. And you went after it. And you tried with all your magnificence and mastery to master this and to get this. You change your life maybe even, you know, from one thing to another thing. Because in two here. So one thing to another thing. And you are about you throw yourself in look here it's a yes look at this this person is kind of jumping off a little thing here and throwing herself with all the trust trusting you're a really trusting person you know yeah okay with a whale here very highly connected with your intuition you are yeah very sensitive very open i would say very psychic pie number three yeah definitely very psychic uh person and strong 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 intuition strong faith and strong trust 
very strong faith and trust. You're throwing yourself two times here, <laughs> you know, here and here, you know, hmm. throwing yourself, definitely going, you're, you have a lot of faith pile, I think pile three, I think you have a lot of faith, uh, yeah, a strong, strong faith and a lot of devotion, a lot, a lot of devotion to what you believe in to what you believe is yours and to what you believe in kind of overall. I think you have strong beliefs and I don't think you, you're not scared of following them. You are the one living the talk. You don't, don't, you just, you don't just talk the talk, you live the talk. Is that, I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but yeah. <laughs> and we have salt with protection. And I was thinking that with the blue here, I was thinking about Archangel Michael, but then salt and protection. Yeah, you are somebody that's highly, 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 highly protected. I mean, so protected. I think you are like a messenger. This sounds strange. I wanted to say messenger of God, but you're some kind of a messenger of some kind because of the devotion you have. Yeah, some kind of a messenger or you have a message to the world. Hmm. And we have, oh, I don't know how to say that. Mouth, mouth. <laughs> it says, enjoy clear hearing. Wow, so clear hearing is that clear audience, I think, maybe. Yeah, so psychic, super psychic. I mean, very psychic, very connected. Very, very connected. I think you have some kind of strong spiritual powers, pile number three. Very strong spiritual powers. And we have entrepreneur. Be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold. So entrepreneur, I think you're kind of a pioneer, entrepreneur, you're building something, you're creating something, it's gonna be, you're somebody building a kind of, you have a big dream here, big life purpose. Uh, yeah, big dream, big life purpose, big for you. It's very big for you, it's very important for you. And you want this and you're gonna get it. That's how it feels like. Uh, and I mean, I think I just felt like soon, Fi 55, you know, it's an angel, angelic number, angel number that stands for positive change. So I think you really like, you took a leap of faith, pile number three, <laughs> you jumped off the cliff and you took a leap of faith, you throw yourself into the abyss and God ca caught you. I'm sorry if I'm using the term God, maybe you don't like it, but you know, the source or whatever you believe in caught you, the angels or, you know, I don't know, goddesses or whatever it is, uh, just source energy or love just caught you and you were protected and you're being guided to this place here. Hmm... You have a strong, clear hearing. I really think you can communicate. You know, the whale is also a very highly spiritual animal here. Uh, and I really think you can communicate with guides and goddesses and angels and spirits very strongly. And if you haven't opened this up, I think you have. I think since you were a kid, actually, you were very, very highly connected. You know, as a kid, you could talk you could talk to, to spirits and guides. Yeah, you have this very strongly. Some of you might not even have opened this up. You have it in you. You have it in you so, so, so strong. Hmm. Okay, let's look at your tarot cards here as well. You have Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so Page of Pentacles and the Entrepreneur here. You are a person that wants to create something. You want to have your own business or you want to get that college degree, you want to maybe be the professor, you want to do something, you want to do something very specific with your gifts and talents and abilities. So I think you have a lot of gifts, talents and abilities. I think you're pretty confident about them yourself uh, as well. I don't think you are unconfident or scared in some way. I think you are ready to take, like, like I said, you have a lot of trust and devotion and faith. So you would be the person that took that leap of faith and tried to do that thing. Let's continue here. We have four of wands. Wow, oh, four of wands. You have king of swords. You have knight of pentacles. And you have the star. Yeah, you're a natural born star. <laughs> That's what you are. Pile number three, a natural born star. Very intelligent, you know, with the king of swords. You have everything that it takes. I mean, you have the mind, you have the strength of the mind. Uh, you have the strength of the mind, but you also have kind of, you know, the spiritual side to it, not just the strength, you know. You also have 
uh, the power to use your mind kind of like in that intuitive way, in that way of channeling kind of information, getting clarity, seeing what needs to be done. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. You also have it in you to create, you know. It's one thing, like I said, thinking about what you want, talking, walking the talk, yeah, talking the talk or walking the talk. Yeah, you don't only talk. I don't think you talk that much, actually. I think you just do it. I think you're very, very focused on... You're a hard worker, I think. Uh, I think you are, like, if you want something, you're going to go after with all the devotion. You're going to try. You're not going to be the one holding yourself back. If you want to do something, you're going to do it. Knight of Pentacles also shows here that you have what it takes in, in you to take action in your life, to take the steps that is needed. Uh, but you won't be the one throwing yourself. Actually, you are throwing yourself here with faith, but there is still a kind of grounded stability here inside of yourself with Knight of Pentacles. You are thinking things true but not kind of in that worrisome way like you are listening to your intuition you're looking at all the facts okay you saw the facts okay you know that you're you're listening to your intuition you're feeling and then kind of you're throwing yourself so it's not just like you're impulsive it just throwing yourself and it's like i have no idea where i'm going no not at all you're very very strong in, in yourself but you have also the kind of the the leap of faith, the trust, you know, the, uh, you have all the elements. Actually, you know what, pile number three, you have everything that it takes to create a star. I, I mean, you have star qualities inside of you. Every inch of you is like star qualities. You can really, really create that life for yourself that you want. If somebody can do it, pile number three, you are going to be one doing it. If somebody can do it, you will be the one doing it. Look at this four of wands also shows here. Uh, stability, celebration. Yeah, you know what? Four of Wands is the card with that is about celebrations. So I, I'm telling you, you're about to celebrate something big. And I think it's going to happen soon here. Hmm. It is going to happen soon. And it's, it feels like it went fast from Page of Pentacles. Kind of you started doing that and then Four of Wands. But Page of Pentacles can also signify, you know, there's this youthful energy, your inner child. So I think that also tells us that this is something very near and dear to your heart. You are so wonderful, pile number three. I mean, you have, like I said, all the qualities that are needed. You have the strength of your mind. You have the clarity of your mind. You have the intelligence. You know, you can learn whatever needs to be learned. So it's like, even if you want to do something, you don't, you don't know the things, you know, mastery here. You will learn. You will get the knowledge you know, if you need that college degree to do your thing, you're going to get that college degree and you're going to do it with bravoure. <laughs> you're going to do it with strength. You're going to do it with endurance. With the Knight of Pentacles here, you're not going to give up. You're going to continue until you reach success. That's what makes you the star here. And the protection here shows like how protected you are. The devotion you have to your cause is just so 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 inspiring i think you're a highly inspiring person i think being with you makes people feel like whoa i can do that myself so yeah you're a very inspiring person and nobody can stop you on on your way i mean when you are on your way somewhere nobody can stop you i mean who's gonna stop you you have you know, you're, you're not the one listening to other people. You're listening to yourself first. You know, I don't mean, probably you take advice and things from other people. But kind of, you, you know what you want and you know how to get clarity. You're not a person that, that is going to be confused and lost. You, not at all. <laughs> like, not at all confused and lost. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but bravo. <laughs> I should say, like, I want to applaud you. Yeah, you're going to reach that success. Maybe you already did it, actually. Hmm. Wow. Let's do more, 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 more cards here. We have to do more cards. And let's just see what deck we should use. I think we're going to... Let's do some doors. <laughs> it feels like here. That felt like the right color and energy here. So, yeah, some more messages here. Who are you? Happy person, joyful person, person that looks on the positive side, that wants, definitely going to have some kind of a mission in their life. Maybe you're not even, maybe you're going to be like very like, uh, 
you know, having one business and then another business. You could be a person that had like two, three college degrees and then like kind of in the middle of it or like in at the end you do something completely else. You're going to be doing a lot of things, like a lot of things. Um, I think you're going to be a person that has money, actually. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think you're going to have money. No, I think we're going to stop there. And let's just, you know what? <laughs> let's, just, let's just do it one more time like that, then one more time like that. And then let's just put it over here and maybe we're going to take some more cards. I don't know. Let's just put it there. Okay. So you have strength. Yeah, I mean it. You have the power. You have ambition inside of yourself. A lot of ambition. Very ambitious person to do whatever you want to do. Oh, I love this energy. It is like hopeful and powerful and devotional. And yeah, yeah, people are going to be like, yeah, look at pile three. There she or he goes again, creating whatever they want in their life. I think, yeah, you could really impress people with the things that you have accomplished. There's going to be many accomplishments in your lifetime. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I said. I think money is not like, I think you're going to be one person that creates a lot of money in their life, a lot of stability, a lot of success, a lot of accomplishments, a lot of achievements. <clears throat> you're a person that is, you're not going to be, you're not a couch potato. <clears throat> Some of you don't even like watching TV, actually. It could even be like you actually, yeah, don't even own a TV or don't like watching TV. Whatever you do, you like kind of, feels like you like being on the move or you like doing things, experiencing things. Uh, we have seven of wands here. Seven of wands is also about kind of like, you know, protection or standing up for yourself. Hmm. Let's keep it over there. Okay, we're gonna do one more card here. We have King King of Swords again. Wow, King of Swords again. Hmm. Protection. You know what I'm feeling here? It could definitely be that you're gonna have some competition on your path because uh because that you you're just so damn good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're just so damn good. <laughs> so here comes Pile Tree. Everybody goes, oh no, Pile Tree came here. What are we going to do? She or he is going to take our jobs, you know, or clients or something like that. So you're good in what you're doing. And that creates some kind of maybe envy with the seven of wands and the protection energy here. Envy or competition or, you know, people wanting a piece of your success. I don't know, something like that. And, you know, the seven of wands is pretty interesting here because it's a cave. So it could also be like gossip going on. I don't think you care that much, actually. Uh, you know what? If, if, if I just heard like, if the job needs to be done, pile three is the one that's going to do it. <laughs> so when people really want, or like, yeah, people will turn to you. Or like if you are... Just, I don't know, King of Swords, it looks like somebody's hiring somebody, but actually, no, it's a grandma here. Yeah, but that shows wisdom. But what I was thinking is, like, somebody was applying for a job, so if, if you are, like, contestants applying for a job, you are the one that's going to get it, because you are always going to be the one, the most uh, fit for the job. Uh, because there's something with you that money can't buy or college degrees can't give you even if you maybe you have all that there's something with you and that is some kind of a kind of you know i don't know it's like connection here that you have your magnificence <laughs> your just your being is just something extraordinary there's something extraordinary with your whole being you are like i don't know what it is with you you are you're really a person that can really reach some kind of like success I, okay, we have to do one more card. Yeah, some really success here. We have Eight of Cups here as well. Hmm, Eight of Cups. Yeah, I mean, you know what Eight of Cups makes me think of? It's like I said, it's like you are... I think your life can be really, really exciting. I think your life is going to be really exciting. It's like you're doing... You could be the person really going after college degrees or, you know, you're creating your own business and you're making so much money. And then kind of in the middle of it, you go like, no, oh, I want to do something else. And then you just do something else. You're not going to, you're not a person that's going to stand like bored, being bored is not your cup of tea. 
or living a half life is not going to be your cup of tea. You're not going to like like that. So as soon as you don't like what you're doing or if it's not challenging en enough, it feels like you need that mental you need something to happen, something fun to happen. You need some kind of a challenge. And I think it's because you are with the King of Swords here. I think you're highly intellectual. And you know, being highly intellectual, you need certain kind of, not challenge, not challenging a bad way, but you need something to ch channel. You need to channel all that mental energy and all that creative energy, ambition, inspiration that you need, you need to channel that into something that matters. And if you can't do that, if it doesn't matter to you anymore, if it's not fun anymore, you're going to walk out the door as fast and quickly as you came into that door. And I don't think that you're scared of closing one chapter to go after another chapter. So it feels like when you're done with something, you're going to be like, okay, I'm done. Like I became the boss here, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I became the entrepreneur. I created my business or I became the boss of this place or I got my college degree. I succeeded and then you worked. And then like in the middle of it, you're like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. You're not going to be scared of saying like, nope, I don't want to do this. I want to try something else or I want to do something else or I feel like doing this now. So yeah, I think you're going to be changing jobs or changing occupations or passions many times maybe in this lifetime or maybe one time or you're definitely going to be growing a lot doing a lot of things and you're not a couch potato pal number three you're not gonna you're not gonna like sitting in your couch eating potatoes potato chips and watching netflix that not that is not your cup of tea or gossiping with friends you know that's not the thing that you like to do you want to be out there you want to enjoy life you want to do things you want to feel alive or unhealthy actually you know with the knight king of swords it actually makes me think also that you you like being healthy and strong you like to have a sound mind you like to be balanced and feel that you're strong and uh yeah a lot of ambition in you parliamentary a lot of ambition like a small life is not for you uh, mm -hmm. yeah Hmm. You won't settle for something less than you feel that you deserve or that you want at the moment. And the faith and the trust that you have in yourself is just amazing. It is just amazing how much faith you have and devotion you have to do whatever you want to do. You're not going to be... Nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. Should we do three more cards? I think so. It just felt like three more cards here will look perfect. So we're going to do three cards and ten of cups. I mean, wow. Yeah, you're meant for star. And I just felt like <laughs> some of you might get married because I, I saw like the couples here, you know, the four of wands, you know, marriage proposal, ten of cups, you know, the marriage. Could also be some of you are married to your work, married to your dreams, your mission. Very like, you know, uh, if 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 you're getting married with somebody, it's going to be somebody that is si very similar to you, you know? It's going to be somebody that honors your energy and your ambition. You're not going to marry... You're not a couch potato. You're not going to marry a couch potato. Queen of Wands. I mean, wow, what a beautiful Queen of Wands. Yeah, confidence, charisma. Uh, yeah, a lot of confidence, a lot of charisma. Uh, hmm, creativity. Beauty beauty you you, you <laughs> yeah you like beautiful things you like being beautiful you want to enjoy life and the last card here that we have is queen of swords what a strange queen of swords card i mean <laughs> i can't even interpret this this was so strange look it's like yeah there there we have the couch potato dreaming of being younger and beautiful it actually looks like this is the same person dreaming of being younger and beautiful i think you're not gonna be <laughs> you're not gonna be what a strange 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 queen of swords so we have two king of swords and one queen of swords there's a lot of things going on with your mind here uh you're not gonna let yourself and if you do that at times if something happens with you and you kind of become the couch potato for a while you're not gonna like that like you feel the best when you are 
eating healthy, when you, you were, maybe you're doing your, I don't know what kind of exercises you do, maybe you you run or you walk or you do yoga, you do maybe some things, maybe you do some spiritual practices. Uh, you feel the best when you're kind of, you have kind of your routines or your things that you do, you're kind of in that good flow, that is when you're feeling good. As soon as you kind of go off flow, I think that is very hard on you to be off balance. You're not taking being off balance very good actually. You feel kind of like you out of your skin out of your skin is that no that's wrong. Like when you're out of your element, like when you're not feeling good and strong, you you it, it, I don't know why it just feels like that is a very bad place for you to be because you're not that person, you know? You're not that person that is kind of uh lost and sad and kind of you know lo lost in you 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 it feels like you you can pick yourself up you know and you know at times maybe you let yourself fall into you know oh you know i don't know what a bit maybe depression or you know giving up a bit but i feel like you're picking yourself up pretty fast because you don't like being in that place i really feel like you're like okay this is not gonna do me any good like let's try again i think you have a lot of power in your pile number three too to really, really take yourself wherever you want. You can pick yourself up a million times and a million more. And the, the only person doing it for you is you. You are picking yourself up because of some kind of inner strength and power and ambition and devotion you have for yourself. You're devoted to yourself. And if you have if you have a marriage here, if somebody's coming into your life, a partner has to be somebody that's honoring your need for uh, your need to live your life the, the way you want, your need to, I think, you know, it's definitely going to be somebody that's going to let you, like, they, I don't think you're going to live or have a relationship where your partner becomes the most important person. It feels like that is kind of, uh, yes, important, but not like you don't live and die for your partner, you know. I heard this in some movie or something I saw the other day. It's like your life doesn't start when your partner comes and ends when your partner goes. No, it's like kind of, it's more, you, you need that equal, yeah, that's the word, equal relationship that doesn't have any demands on you and that let you be free to explore and cre create the world the, the way you want to because I think there is a lot of things inside of yourself that want, you, you have a need to, for expansion and growth here, you know, with the, the the swords energies here, definitely could be some Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini strong placement somewhere in your chart. Uh, yeah, somewhere in your chart doesn't have to be, but could be. Uh, yeah, so th it's all about kind of growth and expansion and stagnation. I mean, it's like you want to puke on stagnation. <laughs> when things stagnate in your life, it's not a good place for you to be in. I mean, it just feels like depression, fatigue, all those things are just going to make you like, or being off balance or losing yourself or not seeing the way clearly. It's going to drive you nuts, it feels, and it's not a good place. Like... You, you people that are stagnated or like stuck in some way it could even be that you have a hard time in like communicating with people that are not quick witted or picking up things very fast because your mind is like goes at a fast speed it feels like woo, 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 you're picking up things very fast you see the bigger picture you see everything you're still very very kind and compassionate but yeah you prefer kind of when things are just flowing, you know, you don't like kind of like if you have a conversation, the person doesn't understand, you're just going to make you frustrated. That is how it feels like. You don't like frustration. You don't like delays. Uh, you don't like complications. You don't like complicated people. You know, you don't, you're very truth. I'm getting the Saggy energy here, Sagittarius energy here as well. So you could definitely have also some Sag energy uh yeah some Sagittarius energy but I'm because I'm getting like very like honest I think you're very honest and you it's it's easy with you what you say is what you mean <clears throat> uh yeah you know it can even be that you're blunt at times you you just say you know it's maybe strange for you not to be able to express yourself as, you're good at expressing yourself saying what you mean I mean saying what you're saying is what you're saying that sounds so strange. <laughs> like you don't sugarcoat things maybe. And sometimes you don't think about it. So maybe it's like you could be a bit too 
blunt, you know, or just like things just comes out of you and then you're thinking like, maybe that was a bit like, maybe I should have uh, compassionate it out a bit or something like that. So yeah, hmm. You're honest, authentic person, very, very honest, very authentic person. And that is also what makes you like very uh, desirable. Yeah, very desirable, especially, yeah, you know, in the kind of like business field. Uh, so it's like when they want to hire a person, even if there's somebody that's like more accomplished than you, has more degrees, and may might on paper be more suitable for the work. When some when they meet you, they're gonna like you more because you are you have some kind of a charisma and authenticity about you that makes you very very powerful. That makes people want to hire you or yeah want want to hire you. Hmm. Hmm. What else do we have here? So loyal, charismatic, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think you're well dressed. I think you care about how you dress yourself, how you carry yourself. I think kind of with a queen. You had a lot. Do we have? Yeah, with two king, two queens and two kings. I mean, wow, you are a king and a queen. <laughs> you're very balanced. I think you like balance in your life. You like like to have a stable life. And uh, wouldn't surprise me if like many of you are really like independent, strongly independent people, very independent people, uh, mm, very independent people. Hmm. Hmm. There was something else that I was thinking about. Confident, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're gonna be. You're gonna. I think you like being well dressed. You like beautiful things. I think you. You're not in any way like holding back on spending money on yourself and the things that you like. I think you, you, you have a good home. You like going, whatever you like putting your money, uh, spending your money, you're going to spend your money and you're not going to hold back on, on yourself. Like you're going to treat yourself with what you want. You want a good home. You, you're going to have a savings account. You know, you're going to have um, dress. You're going to buy the clothes that you feel like that you want. And uh, those things, you're going to buy the food that you want. You're not holding back kind of on anything. You like enjoying life. And I think you are a good friend, pile number three. Yeah, I think you're a good friend. I think you have a couple of friends in your life that are very close to you and uh, very good. I think you are... Like, you are you, and you are not changing for somebody else. Like, you have a unique style, maybe of clothes and things. The things that, yeah, you're not changing for somebody else. Very confident, very confident in your own skin. Uh, yeah, you know who you are, and you're going to be that person, and everything is fine. Hmm. Definitely creating some envy and jealousy around you, but it doesn't feel like that is bothering you all too much, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, pile number three, natural born star. <laughs> that is who you are. It seems like you have an amazing life or are or and are, uh, are creating an amazing life for you. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile three.